Hello, hello again, folks, <laughs> and welcome back to Let's Play uh, Castlevania Harmony of Residence. You might notice oh, 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 wait, that I am not yet cleared out that little section. That is because in all my looking at the very edges of the map, I didn't look at the inside of this area of the map, which has a place I can open up for the lure key. Or there's moon armor. I don't know what the moon armor does. Uh, it's bad. And it should feel bad. Less. Uh, it, it. I don't even know what that's supposed to do. That was that was pretty much it. Um, I guess I'm. Yeah, I guess that would be there on the B side of the castle too. Well, that said, though, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly finish off that little bit there uh, next to me, and then I'm going to see what the hell is in that little little nook beside the ball thing. So, be right back. All right. I keep on pressing circle like that's the answer. So, I am back here with my shit. And I think I know what it is, and by think I know what it is, I mean I up and googled it, and yep! Secret wall bullshit! And I'm gonna guess that it's the same thing when it comes to getting to the other one, too. Bang of Vlad. Let's see what we got. Uh, Nail Fang increases defense. I'm gonna guess also by 10. That's only two more that we gotta find then? I'm wondering where the other two are. By wondering, I mean I'm looking at a thing. Skyway. Skywalkway B and Chapel of Destinance A. Well, if only I actually knew where the hell those were. Off the top of my head, anywho. Alright. Um. Oh, it's probably gonna- yeah, 99.8. Either some sort of super secret sort of a thing, or a door that I've missed. Well, oh, I'll be back when I figured out which one it is. I love it when my recording stuff decides to not properly record right. Anyways, I also found- well, I proceeded through uh, Castle Beal a little bit, and all I did was Opened up that door, went down, came back up, and it seems there was a, another shop here. Did I forget something? Yes, I did. And this guy sells the usual repertoire, except way at the bottom here, he has infinite boots. Infinite jumps. It's tempting. I would only ha- <laughs> I would only have to farm a certain location, just, just a little bit, but I guess I should probably just focus on the healings for the nows. It's gonna hurt. Anyways, uh, there was also another thing I had discovered. Woo, 25 bucks back. Already close. So. Down there, there's a save point. There is, in fact, a secret. Which I might as well get to now. Uh, I thought I had recorded it. I'm trying to get to it before on the A side of things, but I did not. So at the least now, you'll be on the B side of things. Thank B side. always funky. Alright. Mind you, this place is a lot less violent now that I can pretty much just trounce my way through a majority of the enemies. I said less, not completely on violent. And in here, we got our save point. But because we saw on the map, hey, there's something weird up top. 
Wizards earn the Summoning Tome. Summon many a monster. That's actually pretty neat. Alright. So, I do have the map open to see where the final bits and bobs are. However, there's also another thing in that this area... Not this area, but rather... Um... I don't need to 100% the map. Which, by the way, yes, I have 100% Castle A. Because of that one location. Right here. Um, instead, what we just need to do is we need to get the last, last bits of the relics, which I have them here. There's one up near where we fought Legion. I just want to see whether or not the other one is relatively close. No, we already got that one. The eye. Where's the eye? Oh, son of a bitch. That's also in Castle A. Eh. Oh well. I guess we'll, we know what we're doing this particular episode. Okay, so another thing is that I, this, I would never have figured this out, but it would be a hint. So there is another location um, where you can find a merchant, but you can only get to that merchant via having the moon card, which, if you all rem remember, we got off of fighting the Simon Wraiths, which is only a smidgen annoying. God, the infinite jump boots are so tempting, if only so as I don't have to ever bother with doing the, uh, super jump ever again. Alright, so really quick, we'll go ahead... It feels so weird not needing to 100% a map for one of the endings. Maybe I won't, I'm not sure. But yeah, we'll go back here. Teleport. We need to go up to the castle tower. Not yet. What's great about this castle tower location is that it's right next to two of them, and I just need to teleport to the other world map castle place to get the other one. All right. There was a section. Yep. Hey, remember that time that I said that by the time I remember, or by the time I actually get this power up, I'm not gonna remember getting this thing? That's the Eye of Lad. That is one of the last relics. Power to negate curses. So no longer are we gonna get cursed. Yay. Now all we have to do is jump back into that portal. You're like, bitches, I'm back to castle, uh, B. Whee! And seeing as it is relatively close, like, I, all I have to do is go down and under the section where I'd fought Legion. Oh yeah, Crusher Boots, um, whoop. Again. I got a feeling I'm going to use the enveloping crap out of those medicine jars in the final, final, final fight. Kaiser mail, excuse you? Is that any better than my current armor? Yes. It's the same power, or same defense, but it also provides five strength and five intelligence. So yes, please, and thank you. Oh, 
Honestly, uh, as much as I am tempted to 100% the other side here, I won't lie, I'm kind of intrigued as to just beating the game. Go away, Spectre. I know I hit the Spectre that time too, but alright. Most of these monsters can no longer do any more than one damage to me, and I love it. Because, ha ha, suck it, you bastards. All of ye who gave me a hard goddamn time. Feels good, yo. Alright. Okay. Barely went down as far as I was hoping. So we do have another ending. What we actually found was a good ending, not the best ending. You know, evil vanquish and all that fun stuff. Alright, so we want to go to the save point. It's a little weird to me having stuff hidden behind and in save points. That said, Heart of Vlad was barely even hidden. Like, it's just through here. Not even a hidden, like, breakable wall or something. It was just, it was there. Um, that was the Heart of Vlad, which it negates petrification. Now, immune to poison. Petrification and choices. Stronger defense, attack, increased luck. Strange that there's none that gives me an increase in intelligence, but... I don't know, maybe the de developers said to themselves, you know, they're going to be uh, using the evolving crap out of that anyway, so... Let's not beef it up. <laughs> um, God, this, the easiest one to reach would be back at the... Actually, wait, where? Oh, son of a biscuit case. Yeah, there's one I hadn't, uh, mit hadn't gotten to. Right back. I'm not going to waste y'all's time with it. And now we're over here. Ooh, sun armor. That means we got both moon and sun. Is the sun armor any good? No. Affected by the sun. Wait. Oh, okay. So the moon armor is stronger in castle B. The sun armor is going to be stronger in castle A, isn't it? I mean, mind you, I still rather just wear one bitchin' suit of armor like the Kaiser armor, but... Mm. Alright. So you might be thinking, Dar, you've already got all you need, right? All the bits of Dracula and whatnot. You don't need to worry about... Um, anything else? Wrong. See, the fun thing is, in this part of the castle, we do, in fact, get a different ending. I'm gonna get... Dracula's remains are glowing. In fact, we get a couple. I'm just going to quickly save before we do anything here. And say, hey, hello, hi, one more time. The Maxim. Except, is it really Maxim? Liddy! Still draws breath, but damn, am I too late? Welcome to the party, Just. You're late. Maxim. Maxim? Oh, his spirit no longer li lives within me. And I owe it all to that woman. Look at all that strength she's given me. Damn it. No mercy for you. Who needs mercy? Weak threats from an unworthy opponent. I don't know how much damage. Oh, lord. 215 per swing? Now, in hindsight, probably would have been easier with the uh, other one. Yeah. Oh well. 
Honestly, though, this is kind of neat. Oh, wow. Yeah. Freaking just deleted his health bar. Whoop. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Maxim, forgive me. You think I will lose? I who wield the powers of Count Dracula? Maxim was stronger than you are. I don't believe that you could have taken all that he was. But if I die, he will perish as well. And the woman too. So this is goodbye. With that cursed strength of yours, you'd better all hunting down Dracula etern you'd better hunt down Dracula eternally. Damn it all. Ultimately, I couldn't save Lydia or Maxim. All that remains to remember them by is this bracelet. I couldn't even protect those I love. I failed as a vampire hunter. What on earth should I do with myself now? And that's the bad ending. Wherein you were given a clue as to how the hell you deal with the, um... Can I skip this? Nope. Uh, you were given a clue how to deal with the final, final ending. Alright. I mean, it, it can go on. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't mind getting myself a different sub-weapon for the fight. That's a head. Oh! They did get, they got the composer for Symphony of the Night for this. I mean, most of the tracks are pretty good, damn good. Just uh, a couple of them here and there are just... Ugh. The end. Huzzah. That's one more ending. And now we have but one, one more ending. And this one might be the most annoying one to do. Because we need both JB's bracelet and MK's bracelet equipped. My defense tanked. Ugh. It's a good thing I bought all that freaking uh, healing. Because this is going to hurt. I think I still have to beat uh, Maximus' ass, though. Liddy! Oh. Is this the same? On the party, you're late. Maxim. Oh, the spirit no longer. Damn, no mercy for you. Who needs mercy? Damn it. Ow. Actually, wait. How much damage is that? 16? Okay, but consider the following. That's a lot of shit on screen. Ow. Okay. Oh my lord. Yeah, there's a reason I got so much healing stuff. Ow. Get over here, you bastard. Would you stop spamming that? Ugh! That bracelet! You wore it for me! Maxim, is that you? Why do you still live within me? I thought you were dead. Remember, Maxim, you're stronger than this. You, you're right. Compared to the training we had, this is nothing. Why, why can I not free myself of you? Because I choose not to free you. Just finish me off. Ah, I sense a strong magic at work. The, the remains. As long as I have this power, I have no need for this body. Here, have it. Ah! Hmm. I'm not stable, but your blood will once again make me whole. Take it if you can. Do not underestimate the power of a Belmont. Okay, let us begin this. 
I will enjoy destroying you. Oh, the band. Oh boy, that hurt. Can I, uh, not wear the racers? Uh, you know what? I'll keep them on just in case. Whoa, hello. Okay, so much like in previous Vanias, Dracula's wraith can only be hit in the noggin. Sounds fair. Right. Come on, at least one. Well, that was a waste. Ah. I'm trying to do tiny little hops, but it's not working that way. I can get in the second one, but the second one ends up being... Ooh. Okay, 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 okay. There's a reason why I got so much healing. The 32 high potions are uh, off farming the Belmont raids. But the way. Hmm. Would it be easier or better with the Crusher? Because I can charge that. Well, I will say I do like that phase because I can get more hits in on him. I'm not that worried about my HP. Or losing, for that matter. Oh my lord! <laughs> okay. That's a face only a mother could love. Large amount. Large amount. I swear I ducked before you could do that, but alright. Yeah, that's like a thousand damage a pass by. Oh. Good lord, if that don't hurt, though. Thank you, holy water. You are going to save my ass. Come on. Oh. I told you so. Do not underestimate the power of my bloodline. So, so this is the power of Belmont. While spawning Maxim, you are not worthy of being my opponent. I will now fade from this world. But I find some pleasure in this. With the cursed powers of yours, destiny calls you to hunt for all eternity. Hey, one final good. Where am I? Maxim, you've come back to us. Am I alive? You used your own strength to force him out of you. It wasn't my strength. It wasn't. It was yours and Liddy's. What about Liddy? Did you save her? She hasn't come to, but her bite marks faded when Dracula was vanquished. She's regained some color. Just a matter of time before she wakes up. I see. Just, please forgive me. It's all behind us now. Everyone's been saved, so there's nothing more to say. Thank you. Ah, uh, the uh, Looks as if Liddy's come too. Ah, uh, just, what am I doing here? I think that I was bitten by Maxim. Calm down. You must have just had a bad dream. Feel your neck. There's nothing there. Huh. It was just a dream. Hey, tell her the truth. Shh. Keep quiet. What? Maxim, you've come back. Yes, but actually... Yes, Maxim, I'm sure you are exhausted, so let's talk after we get home. No, I want to... Come on, Maxim. Nothing happened. 
Isn't it best we leave it at that? No, that's not right. You should finish what you start. What did you just say? Cut it out, you two. Stop it, both of you. Don't get started. You just got together. Actually, Liddy. I'll hear your stories at home. Until then, let's talk about other things. You heard the lady. All right. <laughs> it's been a while, hasn't it? Since the three of us got together? Yes, it has. Yeah. And that's the best ending of Castlevania Harmony of Destinies. Again, this game is pretty good, but not the best mania. I would still prefer to play Aria of Sorrow again, even with its not working <laughs> luck mechanics. It's... it's okay. I don't think it deserves the hate that I've seen some people giving it online. Um, music's good, colors are really popping, which is cool, allows you to really see this, that, and the other thing. I think the weakest part, though, is whereas the enemy sprites are really good, really detailed, and you can see all, like, the cool viscera and whatnot about them, when it comes to your player, it's eh, and even kind of worse when it comes to Maxim. And... Ah, it just it rubs me the wrong way. Again, a lot of the mechanics I actually really, really do like. I like the ability to change up the sub-weapons with elemental spells. I really like the ability, to, the idea of being able to summon something with those sub-weapons, depending on the sub-weapon itself. The bosses were all pretty cool. Yeah, kind of a couple of stinkers, like uh, Peeping Eye, the Cyclops, which was just a dupe duplicate of the Minotaur. Oh, and getting the best ending unlocked sound mode. Nice. That's pretty cool, actually. Oh, I guess here you would be able to tell. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be able to tell which one is which. Anyways. And yeah, I... I'd say that the weakest part of it is kind of the kind of the characters overall. Like, if this was a story about Maxim, hear me out. Uh, Maxim would it would essentially be a retelling of Aria of Sorrow, but with Maxim instead of you know, um, Cruz, Cruz. I forget his first name. Soma Cruz. That was it. But it would be you know be Maxim. And he could probably have used swords or whatnot. I don't think of it. I'm wondering now if they had it so as you could, in fact, uh, play as Maxim. Eh, I'll figure that out. Uh, well, yeah, that out later. But yeah, that said, if you don't want 100% the maps, which is completely optional, then you don't need to, you know, worry that much. It's not that long of a game at that point. And if you do, well, you mostly just find a lot of nooks and crannies and whatnot. I think the... Uh, the locations of the Dracula parts are kind of the worst part. Because there are no breakable walls throughout the entirety of the game, and there's no other implications, nothing telling you, hey, this wall is, you know, it's special. You might be able to do something with it. It's just, oh, I have to know that I have to double jump into that wall or slide under this wall. I don't even remember where the hell I got some of the other objects. It was quite literally a situation of, oh, I stumbled across them. <laughs> yeah, not bad, but there's definitely, de uh, definitely better GBA castle thing is. It's faster playing than Circle of the Moon. And it has that same sort of a feel of Circle of the Moon. But I would definitely say that maybe just play Circle of the Moon. Maybe without the exploits in order to make it uh, a challenge. <laughs> and of course, I would honestly suggest of the GBA Castlevania games, 
Aria of Sorrow, even with its shitty, non-working luck mechanics. I'd say it's the better of the GBA games, and all of which are available on Castlevania's um, handheld collection thing. I forget what the hell it's even called. Again, I'm playing this on the GBA part itself. And, um, yeah, I'd say this was a good time. Definitely, you know, how many hours? Like, eight hours? Actually, yeah, how many hours has it been? Yeah, a little under eight hours. You know, if you don't 100% all the map in any, in any case. Yeah. Harmony of Dissonance. It's okay. Solid 7.5 out of 10. Maybe a 6. If uh, I get impatient. <laughs> Thank you everyone so very much for watching though. This was... This was an okay experience. I had a good time. With a little bit of frustration. If you guys enjoyed this adventure, please consider dropping a like, commenting, subscribing. All that fun stuff helps out the channel, and if you're subscribing, then you are more than likely gonna see the three daily drops of videos. So many videos. But I have no life, so that's why you get so many. And if you want to support the channel in a financial fashion, I have a bevy of links down in the description below. We got my coffee, which is like basically directly to me, Patreon, which is a once a week, once a month thing, or Stream Elements, which is also directly through me. Every little bit helps, keeps a roof over my head, food in my belly, and will eventually, hopefully, go to upgrading my PC. But yeah, that should be it. What the hell am I going to play after this now? I have an idea, but it's probably a terrible idea. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope to see you folks in the next adventure. Take care. Cheers.